in this video of Pure Digital Tutorial Series, we will cover um, variables in messages. It's called the dollar, uh, dollar sign messages because that's the placeholder. And if we remember, we have messages and we can put in a number or we can create a message and put in a list separated by space. So we have like a message containing list one, two, three, four. Now we want a print object to uh, be able to see what we are processing. And here we are, a list one, two, three, four, and a single number, it's just the number one. Now, sometimes we actually don't really know what to put in there. So we can use a space holder, a variable, and that's the dollar sign. And then we have to give an argument. And the first is always one. Dollar one is always the first variable to use. You can use up to nine into one patcher, dollar or uh, into one object, dollar one, then dollar two, three, and so on. Dollar one now is of course empty because we didn't set something. And if we use a mega box to feed it, it gets the value. And of course then it's empty again. So it can be everything now. And of course we can change it. That's wrong. Right node, and then it's like this number now, and then it's this number. And the handy thing is we can also combine it with a list. For example, we have one, two, a variable, four. Now we can replace this with the incoming number. And you see now only changing is the variable in the middle. Very, very useful. So dollar sign is always the variable and it uh, works in messages very well. Now we have single messages, single numbers and lists. And of course there must be a way to convert between those. So the first um, object we want to introduce, not a comment, we have an object that we have to delete, is pack. This packs together um, print two numbers or two, uh, two whatever, as it says, two messages into a list. And again, we remember we have hot and cold inlets. So um, those two numbers will be packed together in a list of two elements. But only if the left input is getting information, it will send out the list. So for example, now we get a list, you see it, value and zero. If we change this one, there's no output. But if we now change the first input again, we get the output of this. So packing together to a list. And remember the processing order trick with trigger float bang. So we put a T, B, F, and do it here and there. So now we can output a list by sending messages to both inlets. First inlet always needs just a message like this to output. And the second inlet, the cold one, needs this routine. First send a float to the second inlet, to the code inlet, and then bang the object, which packs together those numbers and sends out a list. We can extend this list. I delete this quickly and say pack by default it's two, but maybe we need three numbers. So we do F, F, F for packing together three floats. And then we see a new code inlet is appearing. So we copy the structure, copy paste, and put the floating point number, the number there, and bang the hot inlet of the pack object. And now it outputs a list of three, because we have to set it new, it outputs a list two and a zero, and it outputs on the decimal here, like this, and if we do use the bang on the hot inlet, it just outputs the list. And of course we can extend it as we like, make one more, and for example, just have a message uh, that was on the wrong end, maybe, so I have to delete it to not make it messy. We have message, uh, one, two, three, four, it's our favorite message. Um, if we just put it here, 
um, it won't execute packing, but it will set it. If we execute it via the hot inlet, there it is, zero, 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 because we have to set them again. It does execute all the time, but not this one. And here we are. That's our list. And of course, the counterpart of pack is, you guess it, unpack, because it unpacks a list. You know, out comes a list here with four items, four floating point numbers right now, F, 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 float. And we need the same unpack. We know there will come an, a list of four elements and we want to spread them out. One, two, three, four. We get four outlets. And then, of course, we need four number boxes. And we do this with copy paste. So, remove the routine. And then we see the order is kept. So, put it here. And now we can splice out a list again. And the list should be stored again. If we bang it, yeah, voila, there is it. The list um, comes out here and then is distributed equally to its outputs. So if we change this, for example, of course, it outputs the whole list. We just don't see it. It's outputting four numbers. And for example, here, it's still outputting four numbers. We can make this visible with the print object again. Print. So if we connect it here, we see that even if I change only one number, I clear the window quickly like this, even if I change only this number, it's outputting the whole list. You see it's altering the first number, the first value, but it's always outputting four, so all those four numbers are refreshed. And of course, this is not executing, just setting, and so we can deal with packing single uh, number values together and unpacking them 